Use your knowledge of AF security to accomplish the following use case in the OSI production facility database. You want to create an AF identity which, when used for a user or a user group, will allow that identity to create elements from template. But that identity should not be able to edit library objects at all. In other words, they should not be able to edit the template. Select the OSI production facility database. Sign into the AF server with an account with administrator's permissions and navigate to file then server properties. In the dialog, select security. Next to identities, click add followed by ellipse. To open the select identity dialog box, choose element builders then OK. Next ensure that you have all items to configure selected. Choose Element Builders. Then click the checkbox by Allow, All. To remove all permissions. Then select Only Read and Read Data. Click Apply followed by OK. This will give the Element Builders identity read access to the entire AF server. Then with the same window still open. Let's select the checkbox at the very top. Under Items to configure to deselect all the items. Next check the boxes next to PyServe1 Database Elements PyServe1 Database Analyzes and PyServe1 Database Notification Rules while making sure that you have selected element builders. Next select the right permission in the Permissions for Element Builders section of the screen. Now hit OK to apply the changes and close the window. This should allow your test account to create and check in elements created from templates, but not allow that account to create or make changes to templates upon closing and reopening the AF security. Using previously outlined steps, verify the element builder's permissions are correct. The boxes may appear different as all items are selected in the security configuration options. Boxes filled in completely do not apply to all items selected. In this case, the right permission is limited to the three previously identified databases.